Hello everyone and welcome back to the City Witch series. I think today's main goal is going to be trying to make money so we can complete the vault room. And as you can see in the top corner we've got about 8,000 gold to go, so I think we can do that this episode. Starting on a rainy day, that's always what we like to see. Oh and it's also Sam's birthday, what can we give him? We'll give him one of these chocolate cakes. And we're also low on wood, we need to sort that out. I have no idea why I still have four lots of summer suits left, I think it's because I did run out of wood before. But I should actually have enough now to make these into our saplings, so we'll go ahead and do that, we might as well get the money for it. Let's have a look what's on the board today as well. Oops, that's the calendar. Do you want some refined quartz? Okay, we can help her with that, let's see if we can actually find her though. I suppose she usually goes to the saloon, so maybe we'll take care of that in the evening. I'm trying to see if I can find a bubble spot anywhere. I think that would have to be a no. Oh, the Trojan Cola. I think Sam likes those, doesn't he? So maybe that would be a good thing to give him for his birthday. Alright, well in that case, I will just fish outside Sam and Jodie's house. I've only got a couple of algae so far, so I'm praying this is not another trash day. Oh my god, please. <laughs> An actual fish. And I'm about to trash again. There's one. What's it gonna be? Another shad. Oh, and I actually need that for the community centre and to ship, so that's kind of useful. Just wanted to check if Sam was out of his room. He is not, but I'll say hello to the others while I'm here. And I should probably go say hello to my- oh, the shorts, I can get them back now. I just realised I've got more than the amount of hearts I need, so I should be able to go grab them. Hi money, don't mind me. We got the shorts. We can go return those today. We'll check in here again. Nope, I don't know what time he comes out of his room. And am I going to look the schedule up? Absolutely not. I would say we'd learn as we go, but I feel like after today I'm going to completely forget the time after we leave. And we got some treasure with this one, so what have we got? All I'm getting is shads today. Oh, we got geode. I'll take that. We'll go drop off Lewis's shorts and then I'm going to grab the refined quartz for Leah so that I remember that I need to do something with it. Oh, look. Talk of the devil. Yeah, of course you don't know how they got there. And I think I should have an orange to drop off in the community centre, so we'll go and deal with that. I'm hoping I haven't accidentally sold it or something because I will be absolutely gutted. I suppose we can go and check out by the tree as well again, though. Kind of makes it better that I focused on using the mushroom cave instead of the bat cave because now that we know that we can find the fruit underneath that rainbow tree, it really doesn't matter that we use the uh, mushrooms. There's one, we'll take that with us. Is there anything else that needs to go? Oh, all right, quality crops, I can't do that yet. Let's get some more blueberry jelly going. And now I can actually leave the cake here. All right, so I'm gonna sell those, sell a couple of those, and then take that one to the community center. Oh, the quartz, I almost forgot. Do I even have any? I do, okay, perfect. I need to ship a battery at some point, but I don't really wanna do that yet. All right, you out of your room now? They're literally gonna be like, why are you literally coming in and out my house constantly? You can have some Jojo Cola, I'm pretty sure you're one of the only people who likes them. Oh look, there's Leah! Wait, okay, I need to catch one fish, or a piece of trash, whatever. Next time I reel in, I'll go and give the quartz away. Faster! Okay, that's what I get for rushing it. <laughs> Leah, come back! Gift! Ooh, and I got an achievement as well. I think it's for completing loads of these help requests, isn't it? Alright, to the community centre. Hey farm girl, I've got a question for you. You think I'll ever turn pro? Uh, maybe if you practice a lot. Well, I'm so good, I'm not going to have to practice all that much. Alright, you're really annoying. You're a creep and you're big-headed. Those are not so much good qualities of a person. Do a little drop-off, and then we'll drop off our orange. Very slow progress with the artisan bundle, but we'll get there. And hey, tomorrow we'll have a coop, so I'll actually be able to get some chickens. So maybe it might be that waiting for the vault bundle a couple of days might help us. So we'll get there. I'm definitely not very prepped for skull cabins. I just really like going there. Oh, I haven't even made it to the bottom of the mines. We should probably take care of that. <laughs> Oops. Now, do we think I'm going to make it to the bottom today? I don't know. Maybe turn floor. Oh, free ladder. Let's go. Well, at this rate, we might. There's me trying to focus on getting to Skull Cabins, and I don't even have the key yet. But if we made it down five floors and now, we might actually do this. Oh my god, what is this ladder look? I found a mushroom there, so I'm just going to double check that this isn't actually a mushroom floor. I don't really want to miss out on them if there are any. No, I think it was just the odd one. Okay. Never mind. I swear this isn't even a max luck day. No, it's not. How strange. I mean, I'll take it. I'm not complaining. Oh no, not bat swarm. My luck already gone dry. <gasps> An emerald! Still no ladder though, what's going on? I ran out of ladder luck. Finally, got there in the end. <gasps> we got some boots, what are those? Beanie shoes, one defense and six immunity. Yeah, I think I'd rather take the ones with a little bit more defense. Well, I need to make it at least one more floor. Anything good in these crates? Oh, we got an emerald. Ruby, that's not bad. No, I need to make it down one more floor. Wait, I have bombs, or a bomb. Oh no. Am I gonna make it? Damn it! Please, please, please. Yes, we did it. <gasps> boots. Take some space boots. I'm gonna whack them straight on. I don't think I'm gonna make it down, obviously, another. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Just wanted to see if we can get any more goodies. But I think we did really well today for stuff. 
I think I just completed a quest. What happened there? Oh, it's the coop one. Take the hundred gold. We've got batteries, blueberries, all the things going on. Right, I'm going to sell a couple of emeralds. Oh my god, look how many topaz. What the heck? Selling a fair amount of those. I'm going to leave those here for now. And we'll sell the rest of this stuff. Got the spaghetti recipe from Lewis. And 500 gold. And it was Linus who found me last night. Let's grab our batteries. I think I will actually ship one. Just that that's taken care of on the list. Only one though. I want to keep most of them, obviously. Do I now take the risk with the mixies? I think I will. Why not, you know? <gasps> our star fruit's ready also. Go ahead and harvest all the things. And for now, I think I'm going to save that star fruit. Just in case we need it for something. Let's get all of them sold. That should take us to the amount we need for the vault room, I think. I hope. Could be wrong. Go, I think we're all watered up now. Is there a radish down here? Oh no, this ready. See, the scarecrow hides it. There we go. Now, what do we have going on ore wise? So, got that much iron and gold. Let's try and get some stuff melting. I'm really hoping to have a lot more quality sprinklers by the time that we get to full. But it looks like I can make seven though. So, we've got those ready. For now, I'll leave them in my chest. Once we've got the vault room done as well, I think what we'll do is before we actually go to Skull Caverns, I'll work on tall upgrades because it's going to make my life so much easier in there. But obviously, now we need to make sure we give the wizard his weekly gift. Hello, wizard. Have essence. Hey, a new friend. There are many mysteries around us. You must be patient if you wish to discover them. Those are some wise words, sir. We're at five hearts. Awesome. You got a new cutscene for us? No. Sometimes I like to just kind of go in and out and see if there's anything new going on. What I am going to do though is spend a little bit of our money on some chickens. Just two will do. And we want to make sure we've got one of each type. A Kito. Okay, sure. We know by now I'm not very good at naming stuff. I just kind of let the game do it. Wait, this is another brown chicken. Hang on, I want a white chicken. There we go. Zoon. Okay. I'll roll with it. Then we'll go say hello to our little chicks in a second. Hello little chickens. Look at them. It's so funny when they're babies because you can barely see them in the grass. I mean, this one's walked in front of it now, but... All you see is a little grass moving and it's like so adorable. And I think it's going to be worth our while today getting things a little bit more organised. I'm going to go ahead and remove all these ugly paths. Maybe we'll find a use for them somewhere else. Do you have to sit there bubbles? Please move. Thank you. And then I'm going to actually use these as like a measurement situation but it also will serve a purpose in watering some of our crops so... Okay so the next one actually needs to go here but I'm just going to shove it here for now. It's just so I can see the width. This one actually does want to go here. Oh no, it doesn't. It wants to go one further up, doesn't it? Technically it wants to go there, but we will figure that out. Maybe we do swap this one lower. Eventually I want to change all of them to the obviously the better sprinklers. No, because these ones are where they're supposed to be. Uh, I'm getting confused. It's temporary. <laughs> I'll just leave this here for now. Just to help us water. We might as well make use of them. Now if we stick you down here. I think I want to use a slightly different wooden. Although the stone ones do look nice too. Decisions. Decisions are not something I'm very good at. <laughs> I want to get the weathered floor, but I don't have that yet, so maybe we'll wait till tomorrow to get it. And for now, I'll just chop trees until it's time to sleep. I feel like I should also move the scarecrow as well. There we go. Some of our crops weren't being covered. Oh, I still haven't put the bee house back. Oops. Okay, let's get some sleep. Hey, 10 grand. That gives us enough for the vault bundle. And it's merchant day and Demetrius's birthday. Come on, give me a gold corn. Yay! Okay, just one though. At least we've got all the next season to get that as well. I think we should have a whole bunch of radishes ready. I am glad we've got a lot less to water today now. Even if I did kind of place the sprinklers haphazardly to begin with. It's just awkward when you've already got crops already down. What are we going to give Demetrius for his birthday? I mean, we know he likes melons. Give him a basic melon. Checking in on our mushroom cave because I keep forgetting to do that, to be honest. And I should really be chopping these down every day, I feel like. Grab that maple syrup. Ooh, we have some spice berries today. I'll take them. I wonder if eventually we can upgrade our spell to be able to chop down those stumps for us. That'd be ideal. Hello merchant, what have you got for us today? Oh, we need the eel, don't we? Fish tank, night fish, yes we do. That's a win. I'll take that. Only for 425 as well. The beer, can we use that for something? No. Damn. Anything else? Don't think so. Okay. You know what, with our first two mahogany trees, actually I don't want to plant them yet because once I start decorating everything, I was going to plant my mahogany trees, but I decided not to do that yet because I think what I'm going to do is do the paths first, set up a special tree area, then we'll do it. Alright, let's head up to Robin's. Make another spice berry. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Yes, please. Hi, Robin. Oh wait, I don't have the recipe yet. When do I get it? Wait, do I already have it? Hang on a minute. Oh, it's over the dwarf. Why did I think it was at Robin's? Oops. Alright, well, we're not getting that then. 
Never mind, I'll just have to make do with what I've got. I don't think I've got the whole dwarf scroll situation sorted yet, have I? No, I've only got one of them. Okay, never mind. Happy birthday, Demetrius. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to eat it. We got a couple of hearts down. I'll take it. Oh my god, so many sweet peas again. What is going on? Where are all the grapes? Let's drop off our eel. And then let's get this room finished. 25k. Happy with that. First crystallarium. Skipping out of there. We ain't got time for that. Can I find the door? Oh my god, I made it. Oh god, what's going on now? Ah, did I break it? Oh my god. <laughs> the cutscene carries on if you walk back in. That's really funny. I think I broke the game for a minute there. There's me being all skip happy. Of course, got to make sure we check that board today. Demetrius wants a grape. I suppose I'll accept it. <laughs> kind of need them too. I do have one already, but I don't know if I want to give it to him. I'd prefer to find another. I don't know if we will though. Ooh, rainbow shell. Have I still not done that bridge? I've got the wood on me as well. I probably should do that. Oh, we've got a couple of rainbow shells. Oh no, we have done the bridge. Okay. Never mind. I thought we still hadn't done it. I was going to be like, okay, how have I left it this long? Look at all the stuff though. One gotta get that foraging xp i think what i'm also gonna do whilst i'm down here is probably get the fiberglass rod what level do we unlock the iridium rod i think it's seven isn't it oh it's level six i might just use the training rod up until level six then i feel like at this point it'll be a waste of money for me to buy the fiberglass one i mean i know that the bait and stuff helps i might as well just make do okay let's get some of our decorating done oh let's probably sort our inventory first there's so much going on in here oh i need to sell one of these rainbow shells did I just see- oh, we need the urchin for the dye bundle. Okay, I'm gonna leave them both in there for now. I'm gonna sell the gold quality seaweed, I think. I've not sold a cockle before, so I'll sell that. Let's get our jade and our crystallarium going. And then, what kind of wood floor? I think I'm just gonna go with a regular wood floor. And I think what I'm gonna do with these ones is, like, here I can only have the path one wide, so this is probably the ideal place to be in there. Oh my goodness, have we burned through all of our paths already? That's wild. It takes up so much wood. <laughs> so much easier clearing all those with magic and I think go with those up there and then if I have a little area for my processing machines at the moment then I can't exactly move these machines until they're finished processing we can do what we can I mean the crystallarium we can move we only put that up today move all these chests back oh I do have some other lights I just noticed as well all the lantern things that we had have all gone out. Oh well. Maybe we'll make one more chest. And if I've got enough to make, I've got enough to make two more signs. There we go. I've used up pretty much all my stones, so I need to get sort in that soon. And then, ooh, I just realised the time. I should probably go to bed. <laughs> that would not have been good. And there's the bus repair. At least we can maybe start preparing stuff with the trader. I think I'm going to put the owl statue here. That looks cute. Say hi to the kitty and that's perfect. Our preserves jars are ready so now I can get rid of those. Or move them I mean. Place our last two fences and there's our little processing area. So if I start with putting these up here, I want to get a couple more. My furnaces are going to go along here. I want to make one more fence because we want a little bit of a block off. There we go. Makes use of this little area a little better. Then we can place one more crystallarium here. Definitely need to get this crystallarium going again though. I'm wondering if I even bother with the signs because they take up an entire extra tile, although it does look better, doesn't it? I mean, eventually perhaps our storage area should be somewhere else that's not in our processing section, but for now it will do fine. And I think what I'm going to do is move all of my beach forage out to another chest. So if we go this, eventually this is going to fill up really quickly, I think. I don't think it makes sense that our fish are in this one. Getting ourselves organised, you know? And I'm putting the crab pot fish in the same one. What the heck am I going to do with this charcoal kiln? Because realistically I'm not going to use it. I think I'm just going to whack it in another chest. Then I think what I'm going to do is move all of my geodes and gems to one area. It makes sense in my head anyway. I think the charcoal kiln I'm just going to plop down here for now. And we seem to have some mail, so what's going on? <gasps> 30 stone? We needed that. You need another melon? I gave you a melon yesterday, Demetrius. What did you- Oh, I suppose you would have eaten it. What kind of a question is that? What did you do with a melon? Oh my god. Then I think once- once the season's over as well, I'm going to remove this section so I can have a path going down here. But for now, I'm going to just place the ones that I can place. Probably going to look a bit odd for a little while. What's nice is when I forget to bring my scythe to save the grass, I can just use my spell. It makes life so much easier. Now, I almost forgot to water my crops. Uh, probably take care of that first. Then, in the meantime, what I think I'm going to do... I'm not going to plant anything else for the season, I don't think. I'm just going to... Just move my sprinklers to where they might be a bit more useful for the rest of the season. Even if it's only a little bit helpful. Still an improvement. Grab the melon. Got our little chickens for the day. 
almost forgot to check the mushrooms again. I'm always forgetting to do that. And I must make sure to go foraging today. I've even put it on my to-do list and everything. Where the heck is Demetrius? Oh, he's out the back of the community centre? Oh. Here you go, here's another melon. I'll definitely take the extra gold for that though. Let's check out over here. I feel like I never check this area for forage, even though there could be some. Hey look, a sweet pea. Yet another sweet pea. Ooh. Definitely gotta make use of this bubble spot. I feel like they're always there when I'm not looking for them, but as soon as I need one, I can never find one. And all I'm getting again today is trap. What is going on? Okay, actual fish. Thank goodness. I was starting to get worried then. <laughs> I was just doomed to only fishing for trash. Ooh, we got another rainbow trout. Maybe all this trash is karma for the spell that went wrong. Ah, uh, the bubble sorts ran out. But hey, we've got a couple more rainbow trout, so that's pretty cool. I'll take that. I think these past few days we've really been feeling the safety of Pelican Town. As well as the apartment being a bit whack. It's really strange for Willow to see everyone so different to how she left them. <gasps> we finally got our fiddlehead! Yes! Ooh, and there's a couple more today. Yes, please. I'll take those. Might as well get a hardwood. I think we're going to level up our foraging today looking at a bar. We're very close. Yay! There it is. We'll take all the XP we can get. Now, what was it I needed to make some lighting? Because it's a little bit doom and gloom out here. Ten wood, a coal, and a fibre. I don't know if I want these ones can't be using the lamppost because that needs batteries and I'm not going to use batteries for lights just yet. I think we'll just go with the wood, fibre and coal ones. i just make a few first. Where am I going to put them? Um, let me either side of our chests. I think cover by the greenhouse looks good. I'm only making four at a time because I kind of don't want to use loads of my materials just yet. One over here. One over here. But now I think I'll just do the bottom of this path. It just adds a little bit of atmosphere, you know. Maybe we'll make two more. Just for kind of the middle of our field. There we go, that lines up nicely with the pond. That's a lot better, I feel like. Do I have some actual normal torches anywhere? I don't think I do, okay. Maybe we'll have one more of those lights here. So, a torch is okay. I feel like the torches look kind of cute there. Now, I thought you could put torches on top of- Oh, you can! I'm just going to put one over here to match. How cute is that? I'm happy with that. Made some progress with decorating. Obviously, we're not there yet. It's still a bit like all over the place, but it's a lot better than it was. There's our level seven foraging, so we can do tree fertilizer, winter seeds, and a mountain totem. Didn't make very much gold today, but that's okay. I feel like this is definitely the earliest in the game I've ever bothered to decorate my own farm, but I'm happy that I've done it. I think so far we're looking pretty good, but obviously this isn't its final form. In the next episode, I think what I want to do is focus on trying to unlock a few new spells here and there. I did just realise throughout the entire episode today I didn't use the watering spell once so I need to get back on it because otherwise we're not going to get very much magic XP. We can only get XP by actually casting the spells so we really need to work on that. Make sure we're using as much mana as we can every single day I think. Anyway if you're enjoying the episodes please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye!